I did that for about uh, at least about 10 years. I did that for oh, wow. Wow. And then I kept going with it. And here's the thing. Then the Lord's like, I need you to leave here. And I want to start you in your own ministry. Eventually he was saying, because he wants me to go on YouTube. Yep. Okay. And I'm like, but I really enjoy doing this work here. It's like, oh, you do, do you? So at this point, God started to make some changes there for me to help me with my transition out of there. <laughs> so what happened to me is all of a sudden, all the favor that I had there just fell apart. It got harder and harder and harder and harder for me to stay at that church. It got harder for me to go there and do any work. I started getting frustrated with, like, the directors and stuff like that. Nobody appreciated my work anymore. And <laughs> everything just died there. I was just like, man, I can't wait to leave this place. You know, and I'm not perfect what I do here either. You know, it's like you figure that I should spend every waking moment and breath doing something to build his kingdom. I get winded. I run sprints. I get winded. And I stop. And then I, I run hard again. And <laughs> yep. then, you know, but just like Paul said, run the race, run to win it. And I can't think of the verse right now, but this is essentially is a race. It's a long term yeah. race. Yeah. But I run this race in sprints. I have yeah. seasons here. You know, usually during the feast days, I really ramp. I get so tired here during <laughs> the feast days. The heavens open up, yeah. and there's so much happening. As I, I got to make a video about this. I got to make a video about that. I can't. I, I have to make a video about this. I am so tired, but this bit, this just happened. I can't yeah. pass up on this. I got to make a video about this. This past Passover, man, <laughs> I was making all these uh, videos throughout the month of April, even up to about now, the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I just got ill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I need I to hear. stop. My wife said you need to take a couple of days and just. <laughs> and I'm ready to run again. Yeah, okay. so you it's, run it in sprints. Yeah, now, you may not have a ministry. Yeah, but God called us all to do something. Yeah, for His kingdom. You yeah. might have a prayer ministry. Yeah. You might have. Uh, you might be passing out booklets, leaving yeah. cards everywhere. If you start doing work like that, do you see yourself like? 16 18 hours a day yeah hammering. well <clears throat> i had a hopping no yeah well i i had a, a retreat this past weekend that i was in charge of uh <coughs> orchestrating uh basically uh we booked 100 men at a retreat so from monday to friday i was doing emails registering people organizing rides for 100 men that love the lord just as much as me are at this camp and we got there and i've shared in other videos what was going on there and all this kind of stuff so i won't go into that here but when i came back saturday night it was only for 24 hours i got home and i'm an extrovert and it takes a lot to wear me out it really does it <laughs> takes me a lot just look at my youtube channels a lot our youtube channel a lot of my videos are like two hours it takes me a lot it takes a lot to wear me out i got home at night and i went out into my patio i'm just like you know what i just need to just unwind a little bit and i just need to read a little bit so i put my wife's headphones on they're wireless and i'm listening to i don't even remember what i was listening to that's how baked i was and so my wife brought this little portable fire put it on the little uh table and I was outside on my deck and I'm like, oh, that's so nice. You know, she's so nice. She's lighting a little fire for me. And then the next thing I know, my wife is shaking me. And I'm like, whoa, 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 what's going on? She's like, come to bed. It's been like two hours. You're you're sleeping outside. Like, come to bed. The stars were out. Like, I fell asleep while I was watching her set up the fire. That's how exhausted I was. Wow just wow. blacked out i just put my head down and i'm like a, you <clears> shaking <throat> me waking me up hey why don't you you can't sleep out here all night come to bed and i'm like you can hear the crickets and everything and but that wore me out the next day i had to help out with the parking lot in our church and i'm just like i'm still fried i'm still fried <laughs> but like what i because i built a habit for the past two years i knew that my energy source, if you will, was this. 
Mm -hmm. I just had to keep going in there. And I'm telling you, like you said, like you get exhausted, man, like worn out. Like this morning for my little devotion, I just read the entire book of Joshua. I just sat there. I'm like, I'm just going to read Joshua. Didn't take me too long. 45 minutes done. So I'm like, yeah, like it, it feels like it's ramping up again. And I went through a period. I didn't make a video for two, three days for the first time in two and a half years. It felt like because I was occupied at this deployment. I'm like, there's no way I could focus on these guys and make a five minute video or 10 minute video about YouTube or whatever. Like I, I couldn't mm -hmm. do it. I had no energy left to make one more do one more thing. I had nothing, nothing in me. Yeah. Be careful when you, when you go to the Lord. Yep. And you say that you want to work for him and you want, and that's what I did. I remember <laughs> 2003, I asked the Lord, Lord, yep. use me. Well, 2004, I think it was. I said, use me, Lord. I want to be tired out. Well, I, just, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, <laughs> I want to be tired out for you, Lord. And I remember that I was sitting at the mall in a car waiting for my wife to come back to the car. She was getting from the store. I was sitting in the car praying that. And six months later, I was invited to this non-denominational church. Yep. And at that church, and at this time, I was a Catholic, Shane. So, okay. yeah, the most I've ever did was just be at Knights of Columbus and hand out Tootsie <laughs> Rolls at a store and, and uh, hand out, like, Reese at Christmas, you know. So not much yep. work going on there. Yep. But uh, now I, I got introduced to this church, and they had this whole performing arts thing going on, Jesus of Nazareth, all this stuff like that. If you're wondering which church this is, this is actually Family Christian Center in Munster, Indiana, which is actually my hometown under Pastor Steve Muncy. And I was like, hey, I'd like to be a part of that. And lo and behold, I got into it and I got ran <laughs> to the ground of all that work. Because not only was I doing that part of acting in the shows and stuff like that, I also got involved in the praise and worship and all types of stuff. I also became like their stage prop builder oh, yeah. guy yeah. because yeah. I'm really handy. I do a lot of stuff with wood and metallurgy and stuff like that, welding and sheet metal. Even built tons of props for people to wear, people to use, tons of stage props. And I was also the guy that they called upon to essentially fix everything. Like, for example, they had a problem with their crosses falling down during the show with the people on them. So that's was pretty dangerous so when i came in there i saw that problem and i volunteered to build completely new lifting platforms for these crosses that would stay securely in place so no crosses would never fall again and nobody would get hurt and plus these stands were a lot easier to use compared to what they were using they were using like pieces of board to wedge things into place it was pretty primitive in my eyes so the lord really blessed me with a great mind to do these things and the ability to do these things. And it was great. I loved it. And I did that for about, oh, at least about 10 years. I did that for oh, wow. wow. And then I kept going with it. And here's the thing. Then the Lord's like, I need you to leave here. And I want to start you in your own ministry. Eventually he was saying, because he wants me to go on YouTube. Yep. Okay. And I'm like, but I really enjoy doing this work here. It's like, oh, you do, do you? So at this point, God started to make some changes there for me to help me with my transition out of there. So <laughs> what happened to me is all of a sudden, all the favor that I had there just fell apart. It got harder and harder and harder and harder for me to stay at that church. It got harder for me to go there and do any work. I started getting frustrated with, like, the directors and stuff like that. Nobody appreciated my work anymore. And <laughs> everything just died there. I was just like, man, I can't wait to leave this place. And the Lord's like, thank you. Now get out of there. So I <laughs> went home funny. and started my YouTube ministry. And then, of course, and ah, this is where I want, this is where I want you now. But yeah. I say that because you... Anybody listening, when you ask the Lord, hey, lead me, yep. guide me, what you want me to do, yep. he'll take you into a project. Yep. And once that project is done, he'll let you know, I yep. need you to move on to something else. And then he yep. says, okay, once that's done, I need you to move on to something else. Yep. Okay. And you will know because it'll get harder and harder and harder to do. Yep. And there will be no favor. And you're going to be like frustrated with it and ready to walk away from it. Yep. And you do because that's yep. what the Lord wanted. 
Yeah, All right. it's interesting. And it's it's almost like this is going to sound like the weirdest thing that I've ever said, I think, today anyway, in the last hour. Be careful what you wish for mm-hmm. when it comes to the Lord because he just might grant your wish. So when you're like, I just want to know everything about the Bible. Well, I feel like I'm just scratching the surface. After two years, I'm just scratching the surface and I'm like, my mind is just occupied with his word. And all of a sudden the ministry is now kicking off and all this kind of stuff because of things that I was doing in secret. I'm reading the Bible in secret, mm-hmm. praying in secret, not telling anybody except for you guys on YouTube. And all of a sudden now there's fruit. But if you're not prepared for the explosion it can overwhelm you and exhaust you so i think i needed two years under my belt of reading the bible and spending late nights reading it so i'm tired at night i'm tired in the morning tired in the afternoon of reading and just focusing on his word yep so then you get to a point where all of a sudden you're in ministry and everything i do is volunteer but all of a sudden you get to the point where now you have the strength or energy because you've built that up over a period of two years. And who's this? Rosie. She's Rosie. one of five that I have. You have Different five dogs? dogs? I have five dogs, yeah. All the same? No. Kind? Okay. Got two Frenchies, a pug, a uh, beagle, and a husky. Wow. Mm-hmm. I didn't know you you ran a doggy daycare. I had I no sure idea. Do. Family, it's obvious that we are right now in the final hours before the rapture resurrection, and we are pulling in the final people into the lifeboat, the ark of Jesus Christ, before the trumpet sounds. And if you've been wanting to get out there to make a difference, but you did not know how, you don't know where to start, don't have the resources, don't have the connections, or if you're like most people, you just don't have the time. Life sets in, family, friends, children, your job, your career, and everything else. But you still want to build up your stockpile of gold, silver, and precious stones for the construction of your crown at the judgment seat of Christ. 2 Corinthians 5.10 states, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Now, what is the good work that he's referring to here? One of them is leading people to salvation in Jesus Christ. Probably the most important one. And what's the bad work? Bad work is not doing anything or investing all your seed into a building fund or any other ministry that is not fruitful. Now family, there is still time left for you to make an incredible impact in God's kingdom. There is still time left and there is still a lot of work that needs to be done. And unfortunately, it is still true today as Jesus said in Matthew 9:27, that the harvest is great, but the laborers are few. We are commanded to occupy until his return to be about our Heavenly Father's business. Jesus Christ did not call us to be churchgoers and go into these buildings. Jesus Christ did not call us to be spectators in his kingdom. He has called us to make an impact in his kingdom while we walk the earth for a very short period of time. The whole narrative of giving up everything in this life so you could have an incredible eternity. Jesus told us in Matthew 16, 25, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. This means being a good soldier for Christ for the short time you're here on the earth, so that way you can be a fully fulfilled human being in heaven for eternity. Folks, you only get one life. You only get one time around to build up riches in heaven that will last you for eternity. And if you have not done that much in your life, or you're looking to finish strong, Feed My Sheep Today is the vineyard you want to work in. We are a faith-based nonprofit that funds Christian missions all over the world. And we are doing this through our missionaries who are sharing the gospel of grace, 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4, the hope and love of Jesus Christ finished works at the cross for our salvation. And through this work, they are leading scores and scores of people to salvation in Jesus Christ. 
and they're accomplishing this by preaching the word verbally and also by video presentation. Many people watch these video presentations of the life of Jesus Christ and him dying on the cross and much more and they immediately come to the faith of believing in the finished works of Jesus Christ for their salvation. This is a very effective tool and after this is all done we provide free Bibles to all those who are new believers that joined the body of Christ. And on top of all that, we are also providing these people with humanitarian relief aid to help ease their suffering situation. And you will receive the same reward as our missionaries because now you are partnered with them through Feed My Sheep today every time you give. Because in 1 Corinthians 3 8 it says, Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one. So you can be the missionary or you can be the financial arm that supports the missionary when you invest in the Feed My Sheep today. In the description box below, there is a link to our website. It's feedmysheeptoday.org. Go there, you can give by credit card, PayPal, bank draft, or simply send your gift in the mail. You also see the option there to become a monthly sustainer. If you can't give big right now, over a period of time determined by you. We greatly need monthly sustainers because if we have an idea what's coming in the next month, we are then able to plan ahead and make sure we have enough material aid and Bibles on hand in time to go into these areas so that we could be effective. Because of the supposed pandemic, there are delays in getting this stuff now, so we have to be able to order this stuff in advance. So we are definitely looking for new members to join our monthly sustainer family. And don't forget to follow us on our YouTube channel, Feed My Sheep Today, so that way you don't miss out on any of the things happening with the funding coming into this ministry. So thank you all so much for your support. May God bless you all. We have hardly any movement in the Democratic Party right now for an election. Nobody's campaigning right now. Nobody's even trying. No stickers, no videos, no commercials, no hardly any campaigns anywhere, no rallies, nothing. Okay, That's interesting. they're going up against the biggest battle they've ever fought with Trump with all this momentum. Far worse. I mean, he's far stronger now than he was back in 2016. Mm -hmm. Okay, and do you think that they'll be doing three or four times the amount of work, Shane? Yeah. But they're not. Yeah, they ain't doing impressive. anything. They ain't doing zilch. So think about that. That's real. That is very real right now. Mm -hmm. They know something is coming. There's not going to be an election or something's going to yeah. happen. Yeah. And now that we're seeing this convergence, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to die on this hill and say the rapture is going to be this weekend. Right. But if it happens, it's not yeah. going to surprise me. Yeah. But that's what's ahead of us. That's all, yeah. that, That's my closing right there. And by the um, way, if you want to go in the rapture, remember the angel of death <coughs> when he showed up? He didn't. He doesn't look at the center behind the door. He looks for the blood over the doorpost. Mm -hmm. All right. That's the position you want to be in and the blood over our doorpost now is the indwelling holy spirit yeah that's the blood of the doorpost for us yeah. okay so anybody who has this light inside of them <clears throat> yep. when the trumpet goes off are going to be pulled up to heaven to meet jesus in the air with an immortal body that'll change them from the inside out according to romans 8 verses 10 and 11. it's good okay so i think i covered all the bases here right shane I think so. I think you hit a home yeah. run that keeps yeah. giving okay. it. Because yep. I can just go and go and go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's all good. All right. Thanks, everyone. And uh, that was awesome. So I will just boom. And uh, yeah, so just a little closing remark. I loved having Bob on here. He is awesome. Uh, check out his channel as well. Uh, End Time Dreams. Hang on one sec end time dream and vision that's what it is so go check out his channel he's doing some great things uh he's also on uptime community church as well so that's pretty cool uh but thank you guys as well for being here spending the last hour and a half with us really appreciate it and uh we'll see you in another episode thanks for watching